Hello. In today's modern society, we've all been overloaded with social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And most of our friends are using it. Most of us are using it. And sometimes we get a little out of hand. Sometimes we post things that would raise an eyebrow or two. And it is because of that reason that I've decided to put my foot down and confront some of my friends for their questionable Instagram photos. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Beckett, and this is Instagram Intervention. Well, this is what I want to do. I want to go back to the very beginning of when you started Instagram. Oh boy! And You're really like I, just I went back the deep to, cuts of Instagram. I did. I, I I dug deep. Okay. And this one isn't necessarily embarrassing. It's kind of like I want to give you props for trying this because I'm a big fan of words with friends as well. <laughs> uh, it is your second Instagram ever, and it has 230 likes still. Still. <laughs> and it's this one. I think more so my, my caption, I remember being even better than the actual photo. Yeah, I believe <laughs> it said, God don't like you that much. Oh yeah, well, I, Tim Tebow, I, I, I back you, I believe in you, I think you're a good football player, but you're not quite scrabble material. Um, I don't exactly remember why I thought I'd open up Words of Friends and see if Tebow was an acceptable word choice. I mean, you know, really, I just wanted to kick it off by... Uh, by giving you props for that one because you know what I've tried I've tried things like Tebow it's worth a try in the past it's worth a try um, but anyway all right it's my turn now is it though yeah it's my turn now I don't know if I like this I uh, two can play this all right I'm taking this back real far I don't I don't know quite how far it goes back it has 895 likes and I'm just really curious where you found a street called Hootie and the Blowfish <laughs> Boulevard uh, it was in South Carolina is that real? Yeah, and um, Santi. Oh, it's spelled different. Spelled different, but you know. But so I thought that that was lovely because they're gigantic and and uh. That is a real thing. In the Carolinas, it's a real street. Hootie and the Blowfish Boulevard exists in the Carolinas. I need to go find it that. It does, and I believe I was on tour with Hell Goodbye at that point in time. That was like last year or so. All right, my turn. But this one is a real keeper. Okay. Uh, I've posted some embarrassing photos. I'm really kind of scared right 639 now. 639 likes. I'm in a studio holding a... Really, that's... I mean, there's like a sword, and then there's that. Like, that is a yeah. big-ass sword. Um, well, yeah. And I'm wearing a sombrero. Um, that was... I actually remember that. That was uh, a little over... A little over a year ago. I was in Nashville uh, with a band called Paradise Fears that had just opened a tour. We cool. did. And I wrote a couple songs with them in Nashville for their record. And... Yeah, they, that, there's a studio in Nashville that they work out of, uh, a guy named Jordan Schmidt. Um, and the studio's like a part of that, like attached to the house, and they call it Fantasyland. And some of the craziest shit I've ever seen happen while in the studio with anybody exists <laughs> in that house. There's like a wild pig that runs around that's like their pet, and his name's Eric. I'm not sure if he's still a alive. A pig named Eric. A pig named Eric oh, that just acts like a dog. I mean, really, um, I just wanted to know how long it took for you to lose your mind. Because clearly your mind has been lost in that picture. A yeah, bit. um, that was like after like forty-eight hours. For the well, yeah, you about know, forty-eight straight? hours, pretty much. Yeah, we were in, we were just like in this house. Yeah, that'll. It do was it. kind of one of those things where like, where like it's when when the studio is also part of the house that you're staying in. Mm -hmm. So there's never there's no there's never like that time of separation where yeah. you just feel like you're just there's always there's no divide there's no from, divide you're just from writing and, and living and yeah, yeah. sleep or um, anything like that. Well, I mean, let's just be honest. You showed up wearing that. With let's the, be honest. I sh showed up like that. I, it's my actual. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna go with that story. My real thing is I like showing up to sessions when I'm writing with people, <laughs> just, just, just totally to mind, just them. to mind everyone wearing a sombrero, cord, uh, holding a giant sword. That would be pretty amazing. Actually. I wore it the rest of the day when I put that on. <laughs> In the vocal booth, just like yeah, just you shall so, not pass, sword. hombre. Yes. Yeah. It was a quite a a conglomerate of. Uh, different stereotypes I, I was dig rocking it. I in, dig that, it. in that photo. I dig it. All right, my turn. So 50 weeks ago, with 654 likes, you posted this photo. Can you explain to me what is <laughs> happening in this photo? Because this is my favorite photo I've ever seen on Instagram. Okay, well, <laughs> a fan in Seattle made me, like, uh, made me a doll 
which is a likeness of myself. Yes. So it's me, and it was on tour with Reliant K, and as you can see, um, it was, well, it was towards the end of the tour, and um, Lil Bill had... A wild night. He had a wild night, and he ended up passed out in the front lounge. That bottle of Jameson is the size of him. Yes. That's a... That's a Tall drink for for the little build. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. And then, as you can see, there's uh, a Rubik's cube as well. Yeah, I didn't even I can pick up on that Rubik's cube pretty quickly. That's impressive. So they, they also made a, a tiny Rubik's cube, um, and I don't know. I mean, I just have really awesome creative fans that that is awesome. Like I to make voodoo dolls. I want a fan to make me a voodoo doll that I can just hang at around. least but at least Lil Brian. Yeah. Lil Brian and Lil Bill. <laughs> Lil Brian and Lil Bill. Adventures of <laughs> Adventure of Lil Brian and Lil Bill. It's perfect. It could be the, the the next video series after this one. Uh, I think that's a good idea. <laughs>